We are now seeing a scattering of gas stations start to run out of fuel around Metro Atlanta with other stations now capping what you can pump to try to avoid shortages. Our team found bags over pumps today in Fulton and Cobb counties. Viewers telling us of a similar situation in Gwinnett. We heard of a long line at a pump in Fayette County as well. Not an outright widespread shortage, but you may have to try a few stations before you can fill up. This all comes as one of the country's biggest pipelines tries to get back online after it was targeted by a ransomware attack. Shanu Hur is joining us now near a live station in Atlanta. Shanu, another big concern is whether this could cause prices to spike. Yeah, absolutely, Cheryl. Drivers have been telling me about their concerns about that. We have seen the average price of gas go up by about 10 cents or so since yesterday, but experts at GasBuddy tell me that's not because of the pipeline shutdown, but it seems that is because the economy appears to be recovering since the pandemic. So if you look at this gas station here, right behind me here uh, near Midtown Bowl, it looks like they're actually starting to run out of gas and some people here are finishing up what they are doing here right now. But again, this is just one of many of the scattering of gas stations running out of gas spreading across the metro. One by one drivers who stop to fill up at this Exxon gas station in Old Fourth Ward. I try at least five gas stations and all the way here can't find any gas. We're greeted with bags over the pumps. A lot. I drive a lot. There's no gas nowhere. I've been looking everywhere for gas. Just as anxious as these drivers. This never happened. It's first time happened in Atlanta. Is the manager, Raton Das. He bagged up the pumps Tuesday morning after his gasoline delivery didn't show up. He says he was told there's no timeline on when it'll be replenished. I used to open because I have to sell the grocery. That's all I'm doing right now. Yeah. I cannot do close my store because I have to pay my rent. Doss's gas station is among about 5.2% of stations statewide experiencing a gasoline shortage, according to Gas Buddy. Governor Brian Kemp on Tuesday announcing he's suspending the state gas tax through Saturday to try to keep prices in check. His order also prohibits price gouging at the pump. They are saying that this is going to be a short lived problem. You don't need to go up and fill, fill out you know, every five gallon can you got. Drivers fueling up say they've been worried of shortages since news broke. A ransomware attack has shut down Colonial Pipeline operations last Friday. They're hoping any supply issues ease soon. I think it's just a matter of days. I think there's, there are a lot of people that are just rushing to let you get gas, and I think that's why we're seeing this shortage. All right, and if you look at this BP gas station just across the street from that Chevron here in Midtown, it looks like they still have some gas right now. Drivers still moving in here to fuel up. But coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll show you just how much the demand for gas has gone up in just the past week. You know, Shanu, it's interesting at some of these stations, only the premium is left, and it's about four and a half dollars a gallon. And it reminds me early in the pandemic about the toilet paper issue and it was it was partially supply, Absolutely. but a lot of anxiety driving it. You feel some parallels here, Shanu? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, I spoke to uh, one of the experts at Gas Buddy, and that's exactly what he compared this to. They're asking drivers not to fuel up or hoard gasoline because it could lead to issues, just like you mentioned, that we had with the toilet paper early on in the pandemic. Yeah, like that self-fulfilling prophecy. Okay, Chanu, interesting. We'll talk to you more about it at 6 o'clock.